Hello everybody, my name is James from iOSUniverse.com and in this video I'm going to be bringing you a lot of tips that are guaranteed to improve your high score in Jetpack Joyride. Without any further ado, here's tip number one. My first tip is to stay towards the middle of the screen and for good reason. You don't want to end up in situations like this or like this. By staying near the middle of the screen you'll have time to navigate either above or below obstacles, preventing yourself from guaranteed death. Tip number two is to try and grab the spin tokens when you can, but only when it's safe. For example, it'd make no sense for me to try and grab this spin token right now because the by the time I got to it, I'd already be in the laser beam and that would mean I'd be dead, which we don't want. However, spin tokens can make the difference between beating your high score and not beating your high score, so they're not to be ignored. My third tip is to utilize utilities, and by utilities, I mean final blasts and revives. These things cost a lot of coins, so you should only use them when you've already beaten your high score and want to expand it further, or when you're so close to beating your high score you know you'll beat it by using these utilities. I didn't mention super head starts because they're generally not worth the money unless you have a lot of coins to spend. Sure, they save a lot of time, but your money is better spent on quick revives and final blasts. My fourth tip, and I know everybody's going to hate me for it, is to purchase coins. Trust me, I didn't like the sound of it either. But think about it, all the time you spend in the game is probably valued at less than what you'd spend working, so in my opinion, a couple of dollars is justified to save a lot of time, and by using the extra coins to purchase utilities within the game, you're guaranteed to boost your high score. Of course, it's not required, but if you're super addicted to the game, like me, it'll be worth it in the long run. Last, but probably most importantly, is to simply practice. That should be obvious, right? Let me explain. As we know, the game gets faster and faster the further you get into it. Because of this, it becomes harder to anticipate how quickly you'll be able to get up off the ground and down to the ground. By simply practicing, your brain will automatically start making these connections, and you'll find yourself getting better without even thinking about it. And those are my top 5 jetpack joyride tips that have allowed me to get a high score over 7000, and now you can too. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. And as always, please visit iOSUniverse.com for more information on iOS devices. Thanks for watching, everybody.